do you suffer from poor editing performance? Trust me, I know how annoying it is to sit down and start editing a project only to have the playback stutter and not run smoothly at all. You want to be able to edit in a pace that is set by your technical skills and creative process, not your computer's performance. Luckily there is a feature built into DaVinci Resolve that can help us fix this problem, optimized media, which is essentially making proxies in a very easy and streamlined manner. This will not affect the final exported image quality at all. But before we go into its settings and how to use it, there are two main reasons why the files won't play back smoothly. The first one is that the files are simply demanding on the processor. That could be 4K files compressed in H.264 or H.265 for example. When I used a GH5 I constantly had to use this feature due to the demanding 4K 10-bit files. The GH5 does have the option of shooting in all eye, which would be less demanding on the CPU, but for me the extra storage cost for the bigger files wasn't worth it compared to making proxies. In this case you would use the optimized media feature to create proxies with a more editing friendly compression, thus making it easier for your computer to handle the files. The other reason why the files won't play back smoothly is due to the bitrate and the data having to be read from the hard drive. If you're shooting let's say 4.6K on the Ursa Mini and choose to use ProRes 4444XQ as your codec, you are creating very large files. In fact that codec and resolution combination has a data rate of 360 megabytes per second, and that's megabytes not megabits. Maybe your processor is able to handle the ProRes files, but in this case it might be the hard drive that the files are stored on that is the issue. If it's stored on an external mechanical hard drive, it's possible that the disk has a write and read speed of around 100 megabytes per second. In that case the disk won't be able to keep up with the playback, since we need 360 megabytes for every second. If you do have an internal SSD for example, the solution could be as simple as moving the files there instead, assuming you have the space, and removing the need for creating proxies since you can now read the files in real time. But let's say that wasn't the issue. How do you use the optimized media feature in DaVinci Resolve? First we want to set up in what codec and resolution we want our proxies to be in. Head into your product settings, and if you scroll down under master settings, you'll find optimized media and render cache. What we're interested in here is optimized media resolution and optimized media format. So let's start with resolution. Here we have the option of using the original resolution of the clip, or you could go smaller and set it to half, quarter, one eighth or one sixteenth. There's also the option of choose automatically. When choosing this option, Resolve will try to balance visual quality by only reducing the resolution of clips which have a bigger resolution than the timeline. It will use whatever ratio gets it closest to the timeline resolution. But a good starting point would be to edit on a 1080p timeline, you could of course change it to 4K before exporting, and using the auto option. When it comes to format, your options vary if you're using Windows or Mac. If you're using Windows, you have these options, but if you're using Mac, you will also have ProRes. If you are on Windows, I would recommend DNxHR SQ or LB, depending on your desired level of visual quality. SQ having the higher visual quality, but also larger files. On Mac, you can go with the same option, or instead use ProRes LT or Proxy for even smaller files for worse image quality. Of course you can go for even higher quality options if you want to. If we look just underneath this box, we also have the option to choose where we want the files to be stored, under Cache Files Location. I decided to create a folder called Scratch on a separate disk from where my OS and Resolve is installed, but that's up to you. Now we are ready to create our optimized media. So locate the files you want to create optimized media for. Select all of them and right click. Then simply click generate optimized media. Resolve will now start its process of creating new optimized files. 
but don't worry, the original files are still there and intact. How long this will take depends on how many clips, length of them, resolution, codec, and of course, your PC's performance. If you want to toggle between using optimized media and the original source clips, simply go to playback at the top and unselect use optimized media if available. Here you also have the option of deleting all optimized media created for this specific project. Or if you're like me and always forget to do this and can't be bothered to go back through old projects, by creating an easily accessible scratch folder that I talked about earlier, you can simply go and clear this folder once in a while, removing your old proxies. And once you're done editing your project and want to export, Resolve will automatically use the original source files for the render. Unless you would for some reason have checked Use Optimized Media under the Advanced Render Settings. So there you have it, a simple way of creating proxies or optimized media as it's called in Resolve. Hopefully you can edit your footage without headaches from poor playback performance now. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see some more, and I'll see you next time.